it's me, Jordan, and today we are going to do a Get Ready With Me uh, first impressions video. So if you want to see how this turns out, then just keep on watching. We're gonna just start out by priming our face. So to do that, I'm just gonna use my Too Faced Hangover Primer. Just gonna really prime the face. Okay, so now today uh, we're actually, I'm testing out the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick. I haven't tried this yet, so I'm really excited. I got the shade Alabaster. So I think you just do a few dots. I'm not going to do too much because I'm not sure how this is going to go so let's see I'm gonna do one side with a brush and one side with a sponge so I'm gonna do this side with a brush okay it feels so what I put on isn't full coverage, as you can tell. Let's try the sponge side. Yeah, the amount I put on is, I mean, it's, it, was, it was definitely not enough, as you can see. It looks like nothing's on my skin. We're gonna try this again. Back in, and this time, I'm gonna really go in and just go ham on this foundation stick. Put some down the neck. Okay, so I've put a lot. Let's do the sponge side first. It feels like I'm like pounding my face <laughs> right now. Um, it's not hard to blend out with a sponge. It's just, it's easier with a brush because this is a stick foundation, so. Um, yeah, that's way more full coverage. That's way more up my alley. Okay, so there's the sponge side blended out. Now let's go into the brush side. Okay, so I think both work, but for me, I feel like the brush is easier to maneuver. I feel like I'm going to want to probably mix this with another foundation. That's probably how I'll use this, but so far so good. Next, I'm going to go in with my regular concealer. Now we're going to set everything. Okay, so we're going to go straight to eyeshadow, and I picked up the new Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions palette. It looks like this. I've swatched some already, so it looks like that. So we're going to just do a look, and I'm going to go in to this really, really light brown shade right here, and we're just going to pack that all over the crease. Take that same brush and I'm going to go into the orangey brown shade that's right here. I'm just going to pack that in the crease as well. I'm going to take a densely packed shader brush and I'm going to grab this pinky corally shade right here. I'm gonna pack that a little farther down. Then I'm gonna take a fluffy brush. 
of another fluffy crease brush and I'm gonna take this yellow shade that's in the palette and I'm just gonna work that at the very top in the inner corner and the very top oh that's that's really nice okay this uh, packer brush I'm gonna take this chocolate brown that's in the palette and I'm gonna pack that on the outer corner it's coming off as more pink though which is weird because it's definitely a chocolatey you can see that chocolatey brown right there but it's coming off as more reddish pink which is interesting so I'm just packing that on and then I'll blend it out afterwards so I'm gonna kind of pack it out a little far you see that because we're gonna blend it out I'm gonna go back into the first fluffy crease brush and that light brown that we first initially used and I'm just gonna go back and forth and kind of blend this out okay all right so I'm gonna grab my concealer again and just going to conceal And then cut that crease. I'll clean up a little bit right here. A little bit right here, a little bit right here, I'll just clean up. I'm taking my MAC 248 brush and I'm gonna take this pinky tone shade. Let's see how, ooh, that's pretty. And I didn't set the concealer either because I wanted the maximum amount of pigment in that. I'm gonna blend out the outer corners of this so that it's seamless and really beautiful. I kind of want to do a fun pop of color in there. I feel like I just... Right like that, I just outlined I just outlined the cut crease a little. Okay, I like that. And then I'm going to go in and add a winged liner to this look. I've just popped on some winged liner. I'm loving how this is turned out. This is coming along. So next, I'm just going to do my under eyes because remember, we already set them. So I'm just going to take first some brightening powder under there. I'm just going to take just a little brightening powder under my eyes. So I can go under there. First, I'm going to take the chocolatey brown shade and an angled brush. I'm gonna kind of tight line the outside of it. Okay, then I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm gonna go in this pink So I'm just taking a pencil brush, taking the hot pink and smudging it. Okay, and then I'm gonna take another fluffy pencil brush and I'm gonna take the yellow and I'm gonna blend that hot pink out. This 
palette doesn't have a in an inner corner highlight so I'm just gonna take my ColourPop Super Shock highlighter and just pop that on the inner corner all right I'm gonna pop on some mascara and I'll be right back popped on some mascara I usually don't wear false lashes on a first impressions just because I'm trying to really see what the product can do so so far I'm really liking the eyeshadow and the foundation so now we're gonna just get into the rest of the face and then I'll be right back to show you a new brow product that we're gonna test out. Okay, so I've just finished the rest of my face makeup and it blended beautifully on top of this foundation. So now we're gonna get into brows because they are looking like they need some help. But today, I just I'm, we're gonna try out the Maybelline Tattoo Studio brow tint pen. It's supposed to be like naturally microbladed brows. So we will see. So I just brushed out my brows before we go and oh my god. Okay, so it looks like a little microblading pen. Hmm. We're just going to go right in and hope and pray that this doesn't fail. Okay, so it says to like flick upwards. And I am getting pigment. I feel like it's going to be hard to fill in the tail with this method because it's you flick up, so let's just do this side and flick. It feels like it dries out really quick. But I think for the rest of my brow, I'm gonna fill it in with a pencil. And I actually have this Sonia Kashuk pencil that I found literally for a dollar. So we're gonna fill in our the rest of our brows with it and see how it works. Let's go ahead and just conceal those brows really quickly. Okay, so I am back from doing my brows and I'll have to say the Sony Kashuk pencil was really nice. I really enjoyed it. The Maybelline Studio brow pen, whatever, eh, it was good for the front parts of the brow, but it just it was it was hard to maneuver so now we are going to move on to lips and i'm so excited because i finally got the new palladio by casey holmes um collab and i picked it up at sally's the other day they had these two colors so I have the colors Rescue and Obsessed, and I cannot wait to try this pink shade. So let's try Obsessed. So it's very pigmented. It's a liquid lip, so it's dry, but it it's kind of tacky, so it feels really good and comfortable on the lips. Wow, I really, I really like that. So I'm just going to set my face really quick, and then I'll be back for my final thoughts on this first impressions look. Okay, everyone, I'm back. I've just finished up, you know, setting my face. So I love how this look turned out. We have some crazy colors going on. We have pink lip, blue liner, yellow shadow, and all of that. But I, I really love how it turned out. The foundation, I really like. Um, the lipstick, I'm in love with. The shadows, I really like. Um, the brow pen, that was kind of a no for me um, from Maybelline. But everything else, I really, really loved. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and comment down below what you would like to see next. Thank you all so much. I hope you enjoyed this first impressions. Get ready with me. Have a great day. Bye guys.